right. Hello, Wisdom. How are we? Welcome to the Stephen Shields radio show right now. I ah, thought so today I'd uh, get on this uh, amazing platform and, uh, yeah, host a podcast because a lot of my show. <sighs> Having some green tea at the moment. Weather right now is 16 degrees Celsius. Uh, it's going to be a top of 17 degrees Celsius, a low of 7 degrees Celsius. It's sunny today. Precipitation, 0%. Humidity, 37%. Wind, 23 kilometres an hour right now. So it's uh, Saturday for me, with the 11th of June, 2022. I'm, uh, you know, here right now. And I'm uh, just chilling on Wisdom, this amazing uh, platform. And uh, getting to talk to y'all about society and culture. You know, because that's what the Stephen Shields radio show is all about. Society and culture, you know that. Ah. Yes, you've probably been uh, uh, noticing that uh, been talking a lot about shadow banning as well and finding that, uh, you know, despite the negative energy that's uh, in the world right now. I'm always wanting to, uh, you know, pursue my passion. I mean, 300 YouTube videos, 300 uploads. It's a huge success. I already feel like I'm a success at the moment. I feel like I'm the best in the world. really feel great and uh, just want to keep going to keep on, you know, staying strong. And there's nothing wrong with having hope in life as well. Hope can get you into a lot of places, you know, having faith. Finding that uh, for what I am doing, what I am doing in life, what I am achieving is what success will feel to me, you know that. So I thought today I wanted to talk about, uh, you know, Finding your soul true purpose, how to overcome negative energy. Now, there's a lot of negative uh, energy uh, in the world. There's a lot. There are negative people in the world. Okay. Negative people should be cut out of your life completely. Negative influences should be cut out of your life completely. And I'll tell you this. When I was growing up as a young man, I had... uh, I used to hang around the wrong people, wrong influences, the bad influence. And that got me nowhere. That made things even hard for me, you know, made things even hard. Now, I'm here on a beautiful application called Wisdom that has a lot of true potential. Because I see a future in Wisdom. The best that you can do, despite negative energy is to go and make a change for the world. I look up to people like Elon Musk, who's a very successful billionaire, being able to send rockets into space. That is so cool. That is so cool and amazing. And I hope that uh, the space industry can come to Australia. There's, uh, I think they're going to start launching uh, rockets into space from the Northern Territory in Australia. That would be amazing if Australia got into the space race. How cool would that be? How cool would that be, guys, when Australia finally said yes? Negative people should be cut out of your life completely. Negative influences should be cut out of your life completely. And I'll tell you this. When I was growing up, as a young man, I had, uh, I used to hang around the wrong people, wrong influences, the bad influence. And that got me nowhere. That made things even hard for me. You know? 
made things even hard. Now, I'm here on a beautiful application called Wisdom that has a lot of true potential. Because I see a future in Wisdom. The best that you can do, despite negative energy, is to go and make a change for the world. I look up to people like Elon Musk, who's a very successful billionaire, being able to send rockets into space. That is so cool. That is so cool and amazing. And I hope that... Uh, the space industry can come to Australia. There's, uh, I think they're going to start launching uh, rockets into space from the Northern Territory in Australia. That would be amazing if Australia got into the space race. How cool would that be? How cool would that be, guys? When Australia finally says yes, we are sending astronauts into orbit. Who knows? There is a vision right there. I'm so, I suppose that uh, when you have a vision for your soul's true purpose, things open up for you. Things shall manifest. For you, you know, because you know, when you want to chase that dream, you go and get that dream what you want. If it's getting a hundred percent on your college paper, go for it, take it, get it. Do it, tick it off as a goal. It's good to have goals. Uh, I use a goal setting app uh, at the moment that helps basically keep me on track. It's called Strides. I will uh, reference Strides in the show notes and the uh, thing is with a great goal setting app called Strides it's, it's, it's amazing because It helps keep me on track to what I want to achieve. We look at all the great uh, masters and influences out there. Albert Einstein, Nikola Tesla, all had a vision all had a purpose to achieve success, no matter if it was a Great Depression. You know, no matter if, if it was an economic crisis, it's not going to stop you from going out and getting what you want. Because what you project to the universe, you attract. A lot of us don't even realize that we are manifesting. Now, this is just my opinion, guys. You don't have to believe in manifestation. That's fine. I respect that. But 
the way I feel as a content creator, you know, in my show, the Stephen Shields radio show, there is purpose. I have value. I give value to the podcast. I love sitting down and having a tea or a coffee and, you know, being able to share my wisdom to the world and my passion and my calling for you. Because all I ever try to do is just be honest with everyone. I'm an honest person, right? I, I don't, I don't talk shit. I act on the theory. Okay. Without acting on the theory. You get nowhere. We can read all the spiritual books in the li- in in our life. We can, you know, go to all the spiritual seminars. We can, you know, take all the wisdom and the knowledge in the world. And still get nowhere. In life. I've always felt that. uh, To know who I really am has taken me, like, 28 years of my life to, you know, find the real me, to find who I am. You know that. When you look at uh, the greatest entrepreneurs out there, all had a vision, visualizing their intention. When you listen to the great of Louise Hay and, uh, you know, Wayne Dyer, uh, audio recording, the affirmations that you put into your mind is what gives you power of the subconscious mind because the subconscious mind is there and people can deny it all they want but it's there so there's ways in what I like to do in uh, you know powering my subconscious mind And that's uh, affirmations, especially during the night. You can play your affirmations, even record them in your own voice and, you know, loop it around. That's another way you can do. Uh, You can also, you know, look at, uh, you know, Journaling your intention, your goals, or your business goals, your spiritual goals, your relationship goals in life. You can uh, also look at uh,
articles written by great uh, spiritual teachers. You know, Muji is one, Sad, Sadguru is one, Deepak Chopra is one, Louise Hay, Wayne Dyer has some brilliant, uh, fantastic books as well. Because positive energy is what attracts your clients and attracts your customers. Negative energy will only uh, decrease value in your business and in your life. So when you have positive, uplifting energy, you will find things work better for you in your journey and your path. You see, I suppose we can talk about the issue of uh, uh, music as well. Um, As you know me, I'm a musician. I'm a content creator. But it is proven that, uh, you know, negative lyrics, especially lyrics in general, can have consequences on your mental health, like heavy metal. Now, I love metal, but there's some heavy metal, which I, I just think is just garbage, like that screamo shit. Like, I have no idea what you're going on about. And they just play everything in drop B and it's just, it sounds like shit to my ears. It's just garbage. I don't even know how there's a market for that. I don't know if uh, bands do this as a marketing procedure. But you got to think, well, is what I'm listening to going to be safe for my mind and help me achieve what I want to get in life? You know. Because what you put into the mind all can affect you a lot. You know, like I said before, we uh, we all have uh, uh, bad, uh, you know, bad days. You know, you know that bad days happen all the time. It's uh, how we deal with bad days. It's all about, well, how do we look after ourselves on a bad day? With uh, mental health crisis, and the the uh, Australian healthcare system that's uh, under so much stress because of COVID and the pandemic, and uh, our nurses and doctors and healthcare professionals uh, are walking off the job because they just can't handle the stress in emergency ambulance uh, in Australia. Uh, always behind schedule. You know, when you read it in the Sydney Morning Herald. And I'd like to invite anyone who's listening that uh, wants to come on stage and say hi to be on the Stephen Shields radio show, wherever you are tuning in from. And let me know uh, how you 
uh, finding your soul true purpose and how you uh, overcome a negative energy in life. Because this is, this is what wisdom's about. Wisdom's about helping one another. You know, it's not all about having a, a debate and finding who's right and who's wrong and he said this, she said that. You know, although I do get, I might get a bit up, you know, what do they call it? Rant when I uh, get on my show, but I hope I'm not offending anyone by ranting. I'm just ranting about what I read on the news because I do take uh, uh, attention to journalism now at my age of 28. I like to see, well, the two sides to the story. Think about that. There's two sides to every story. And what you want to be, what you want to achieve. Uh, Bob Baker was doing a, uh, I think it was a 21-day affirmation challenge by Bob Baker. And uh, in the affirmation, it was, I don't chase, I attract. Now think about that. I don't chase, I attract. So if you keep chasing and chasing, what you are trying to attract just keeps running away. Let the manifestation come to you. you still got to put the work in. Don't think of, uh, like, Rhonda Burns, the secret that I'm going to sit on my chair and visualize a Ferrari. I mean... I mean, a Rhonda Burns teaching of the secret was a bastardized version of the uh, law of attraction. It wasn't explained properly. You still got to put the work. In. Like all these great entrepreneurs, all had a purpose in their life. Henry Ford, Napoleon Hill, you know, Dale Carnegie. Albert Einstein, Abraham Lincoln, Benjamin Franklin, George Washington. They had something in them for success. To be successful in business or politics or entrepreneurship, engineering, etc., etc., music as well. You look at the great... uh, Music composers like Mozart and Beethoven, who I grew up listening to and studying. And yeah, that's how I got inspired to be a composer for myself. Hey, Steve. Hello, Sonia. <laughs> uh, how are you? Been a while since we I had you on the show. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> how you been? But, uh, good, good. Um, yourself? I yeah, I've been good. Answer. I just mm. hit uh, 300 YouTube videos. I'm, that's a uh, celebration of mine, 300 episodes of the Stephen Shields radio show, and I'll oh, keep on going. Nice. Just wow. keep going. Yeah, what, what about yourself? Uh, what, what have you been doing? Yeah, I've kind of been busy, you know, doing stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, you, you still got future travel plans to Australia? Uh, yeah, I'm hoping maybe end of the year. Yeah, that would be awesome to get back traveling again. And so, what's been happening with you that you want to share anything that you've been achieving lately? Yeah, I have a kind of a book coming out. Um, cool. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's kind of like um, what you're. Not really the purpose of, you know, what you're talking about tonight, but uh, mm-hmm. something along the line of, of course, I, I, you know, not quite law of attraction, but it is a manifestation, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Cool. And are you uh, self-publishing that on Amazon or are you going to do an audio book for that? Yeah, something along that line. Yeah, both. <laughs> 
That'd be so cool. And, and if you get an audio book, are you going to uh, sell it on uh, Audible or you got any platforms that you're looking at? Yeah, it's a combination. It can be Audible. I, I've looked into Audible as well um, in terms yeah. of, yeah, so it's quite interesting, that part too. So I started uh, publishing articles on Medium. Mm, yes, that's good. I, uh, about music and that's been fun. I, I love I, I love Medium. Um I tried other blogging like Tumblr but just didn't like it. But Medium at least, uh if you get to a certain amount of followers you can monetize your writing, which is pretty cool mm-hmm. for any bloggers out there. Have you thought about writing on Medium? I have an account at Medium. I haven't wrote a write anything on Medium but but I will. I mean it's one yeah. of the things that's on the checklist, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So many stuff that you can do nowadays, right? <laughs> I know. Oh no, this this uh new book sounds interesting what you're doing. Yeah. It, it is along the line that I you know. And what's your future Sorry, outcome your future goal? <laughs> yeah. What's your future outcome for the book? Where do you, where do you see it taking you? Well, I'm just like it's from. This is an honesty and uh, from the heart, right? So it's it's nothing to do with the goals or anything like that. It's my first mm-hmm. one, <clears throat> mm-hmm. but I will have a series of another uh, books coming out as well with regards to mm-hmm. what I actually do, right? So <clears throat> mm-hmm. that's the follow up. I'm just experimenting with the digital side of things, like in terms of digital creating. And also, you. you know, what you're doing, yours is YouTube and mine happens to be courses and stuff like that, right? <clears throat> yeah. So those are the things that I'm, I'm working on. And, uh, you know, and, you know, I was, of course, seeing your show and, you know, the topic kind of like what attracts me here. <laughs> so yeah, no, I know you really were talking good. about, you know, law of attraction earlier. I'm like, okay, let's, let's do this, you know. <laughs> So. Well, that, that's the thing about uh, uh, law, law, law of Attraction, Sonia. I mean, in business, I know there's uh, business people that are believe it, some don't, but I was watching a video about Elon Musk mm-hmm. um, about being a startup, and, yeah, it's it can be a very lonely journey, and that's why affirmations are important because there's a lot of people, I'm sure you've had it, tell you that you're never going to make it. Mm-hmm. Right. So, I mean, and, you know, those kind of things – it's a self-talk that, you know, that for us entrepreneurs, you know, um, it might stall us for a little bit. But I think mm. because there is that built inside uh, all of us that drive, you know, because we want to make the business work. Right. And, you know, finding yeah. a way, of course, we, we, you know, in terms of we talk about the fails and, you know, the learnings and stuff like that. Right. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So. I think those are one of the most wonderful things I'm try I'm discovering now because it it speeds up your growth so much, right? Whenever you mm-hmm. you know um, fail at something, uh, I'm gonna use that word because I think it hits you and then it like okay, so what's the lesson behind it, right? Because you're growing too mm-hmm. at the same time. So I now learn to accept that's part of you know the growth, right? Because you don't use you don't do the same mistakes right yeah. <laughs> that's the idea of it right <laughs> and each time you, you learn more and learn more and not only do you build up your you know whatever the spine you know become stronger each time and you know until you succeed right this is one of the we call the journey is the journey is part of the process <laughs> yeah ju- just keep going sonia yeah. Just, Just like what you going. did, right? No, ma- until now you're like three hundred episodes later, and you're still here, and you're still determined to to do mm. whatever it is that you need to put out there, right? That is a big congratulations, of course, you know. Yeah, it's because I love what I do. It gets me up every day. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Um, you know, I, mean, I know yeah. when the um publishing industry because it, are you going to look to get your book published one day by a huge uh, company or you just uh, self publishing not at all i cuz a lot of things now can be done by ourselves right and yeah. uh, we can do a print on demand as well if you uh-huh. haven't looked at that because the company um and 
connect it as buyers orders it and it'll get it print or you can download it as an ebook, right? Mm -hmm. So those are the two yeah. options that you have. And of course the audio version will also be out as well, right? So mm. um, that's like along the company. So you there's a lot of ways that you can do stuff nowadays on your own, right? And mm -hmm. and yeah, you know that's what that's what it is. I really look forward to uh, uh, seeing this new book that you're going to publish. Um, yeah, I really do. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I will let you know. Yeah, <laughs> and coming I out hope sometime it, next couple of I, weeks. Though I know yeah. it's been like I I've been uh, kind of thinking and talking, and I'm like I keep changing, right? And mm. uh, <laughs> some of the things and new things keep developing and uh, understandings and stuff like that. So I always tweaking it. And I guess one time I just have to pause and say, okay, I was just going to put it out there, you know? <laughs> yeah, just go, just go for it. <laughs> the perfection thing going into my brain a little bit, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I hope this uh, book, uh, uh, Songya, becomes a worldwide success. <laughs> no, and my first one, it's like, it, it's going to be a little bit interesting, right? <laughs> but uh, I don't like, in terms of, I, I don't have a lot of expectation, but it is an honest mm. um, kind of thing that I'm putting it out, right? So mm. it comes from the heart, the first one. And then, of course, the series of the other things that are coming up next. And yeah, I look into a lot on Edible as well as Kindles and and. Mm. <clears throat> What you said on Medium, I can show you some of the things that we're doing that's also mm. uh, quite interesting as well. So what do you write on Medium for your site? I, I write about music, um, my experience with the music industry, like royalties. Uh, I, I'm writing an article about Eminem and how he became successful growing up from poverty to a, you know, a millionaire. Awesome, and he yeah. You know, he lived a hard life. He had a lawsuit with his mother because of his lyrics, but the judge, I don't know, the judge did nothing. And you think, why would his mother want to take him to court over lyrics? Yeah. You know? Interesting. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. But, you know, that is a cool thing to do right? when you, um, you know, research and dig into someone's, you know, story. It's quite fascinating as well, right? So it must be a joy to be able to write that up as a, you know, mm -hmm. Long. yeah. If, if you tap on my profile to take you to my medium page, and you can see the articles I've published already. So I give I give blogging a go. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a it's a new new challenge for me. Yeah, definitely. And I do have medium, so I'm gonna follow you. Hold on. Yeah, and comment. <laughs> Comment on any articles as well and uh, ask me any questions. Yeah, I will. Yeah. You know, but I, we've seen... A little uh, I, used to, I used to read a lot of articles, but, you know, with time and stuff. <laughs> it's kind yeah. of... Yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, writings... Uh, I, I thought I'll give writing a go. Yeah. And that's what definitely. I'll do. I mean, like, it's also... <clears throat> Well, you're used to it too, right? You have to sometimes write the script for YouTube and stuff like that, right? <clears throat> yeah, funny enough, I don't use scripts. I just, oh, uh, that's cool. you know, <laughs> you just I, talk I, about it. I tried scripting a few videos, and it just the time I got to put in to write the script, and then I talk, and then it's like I sound like a robot. Yeah, well, I, I just more like of the outline, you know, like so that way you know yeah. the flow a little bit. Um, yeah, it, it, in your first couple of episodes, you're going to have to do, for me anyways, I, I mm. starting to write scripts now and yeah. <clears throat> once that's done, usually once you get it smoothly, then you can talk, uh, free flow. Right. But mm. on your first few, um, I think you still have to do those. That's well, if they work for you, 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 you do what works for you. For sure. Yeah. You know, maybe as my channel grows, and I'll get a few script writers. But I mean, I, I know I know too much about music. I can just talk like I'm talking now. Like I don't script my podcast. Yeah, for I me, just... yeah, the podcast is interesting too. This is what I came to know. Right, I'm 
trying to stay within the 10 minute to 15 minute range and yeah yeah and so it's yeah. it requires a little more precision right? so you're keeping your show short short mm-hmm. and sweet and if there is interview then yeah i would go a little longer depending on you know mm-hmm. the guests as well right so if they're the hardest thing on I find about, you know, when I'm doing a show is talking on my own. That's been a challenge for me. Yeah, and that's Um, why the script kind of helped. Not like the outline mm. or the script, however you feel. um, It's more free, right? So, Yeah, I'll give that a go. I'll probably try and outline the points I'm going to make. Yeah. Uh, I like the idea that, you know, when you go and and research your topic and then you write it up, and then that becomes the same as your kind of like script for your podcast as well, right? So, yeah. <clears throat> so it's kind of good to do maybe perhaps the blog first, and then you know, and then you can kind of do a condensed version on it on um, the uh, you know podcast, right? So. Yeah, that's that's a good idea as well. Yeah, and then you can turn it if it is uh, like a process, then you can turn it into an ebook, right? You know, the idea of that. I, I will send you this link and you can do that. Like, it's it's so that way you can also, um, you know, get, because you have your links, right? And yeah. your website and your subscription and all whatever it is that you have to do. Yeah, so I'll send you this one at the, on Instagram better or Twitter? Oh, uh, Instagram. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, how... So it, in your opinion, how do you feel about the uh, buyout of Twitter that Elon Musk is going to do? Yeah, I mean, like, it was interesting, right? You know, he, uh, we, I think it was him that came into wisdom that we get to talk to, right? And, Did it uh, sound like Elon? Yeah, it does. And uh, when he was talking about Twitter and all of these things, we were not tuned into that, right? Because we're like, <laughs> it's not, why, why was, like, Elon talking about Twitter, right? <laughs> I'm mm. like, we, next thing we know, it's like a couple of months later, it was like, he's purchasing tw- Twitter, what the, you know? <laughs> so it was like, it was quite cool. I think it is him. Uh, he is wild enough to do those kind of things, so. Um, yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, so. I, I really it, hope he gets success in this buyout, because uh, yeah. I want Twitter to change. Yeah. Well, the thing with that is I was watching his lives on the channels on his um, YouTubes. And, yeah. of course, they were talking about, of course, you know, with him and PayPal and all of these things, right? They're trying to like, okay, and Bitcoin and then Ethereum, you know, all of these things. Mm. What's happening there, of course, you know, his idea is to make sure that, I mean, to, in the future that we can use either Bitcoin or those kind of crypto for purchasing Tesla as well, right? And so I oh, love- was... Yeah, I was fascinated by how he was going to do that. I know he owns the the PayPal as well, but um, yeah. but I didn't know how the transition is going to happen. But he has adopted like bring in some technology. I mean, people who are in that kind of thing that can possibly develop into that kind of um, you know in terms of uh, the way we use money and me the medium of it, right? And you know, it's it's going to be <clears throat> you know what we are in in the future. Right. So, well, that that is the future. I mean, people or the news media is whinging that oh, Bitcoin's gone down one dollar in value, <laughs> like, and then like it was I think ten years ago when I don't know who invented the Bitcoin, he was told oh, yeah it was never going to succeed and look where it is now, mm-hmm. a worldwide yeah. success. Yeah, I came from the banking industry, and of course, what's happening with the crypto area versus the traditional banking, of course, is quite fascinating for me. And mm. of course, being, you know, in terms of diversification, the NFTs and all of these things that are out there, right? Just watching mm. and also observing. And if you do, like for me, I'm, I'm always trying to diversify portfolios. Right? Mm. <laughs> well, how, do, how do you feel about the NFT market? Yeah, it's That's quite interesting too. Trend. It 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 yeah, it it's different for different people. Like you have the artists, right? And uh, mm. they're doing, you know, some of them are doing really well and of course you have 
you know, the difference, like the influencers and, and stuff like that, it is marketing, right? Mm. And so if you can kind of have those kind of combination, I kind of look at what Gary V is doing with the NFT stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And because uh, he is like, you know, I always look at him as more like, okay, direct kind of person. So if you want to like listen to some people who's going to talk about it, NFTs and stuff like that, then, you know, that's yeah. one of, at least, you know, just for comparison, right? And and you look at the experts. Well, yeah. I don't know if who is exactly the experts, but, <clears throat> but you know, it's still relatively new, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I tried the... Uh, NFT market, but uh, I don't know. I had a hard time opening a simple Bitcoin wallet. Really? Yeah, I don't, it's just. What are you using? I don't. Like from Australia, <sighs> I guess. I think, I think it was that uh, Ethereum or something. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I'm like, what the hell is this? Why why so complicated just to open up a uh, Bitcoin wallet? It depends on on what you're using. I mean, like, um, you know, there's, uh, you know, I know Coinbase has has a lot of, like, at least on the English market, right? So Mm. I might want to use that one. Um, Binance, I don't know if it's in Australia, but each country has its own stuff and restrictions and stuff like that, right? (laughs) Yeah, well, the Australian government was trying to regulate Bitcoin. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, so and, um, the other government, but this has what, made it so that it can't be, right? Uh, Almost. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like uh, whenever something becomes successful, the government just wants to get their hand in it. Yeah. Well, it, it's about revenue, too. Right? <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's like Tesla's, uh, I mean, I, I'm a beginner investor. I think I'm investing in Tesla. How long you know? ago did you go back? <laughs> yeah. Because I don't know how much you can afford, but. <laughs> mm. But, uh, yeah, no, I uh, I hope uh, uh, one day that uh, Elon Musk will send uh, astronauts to Mars in the future because yeah. we need to go to Mars, Sonia. <laughs> well, yeah. I think we should all fix up Earth. <laughs> it's yeah. still good. Mars is still a long way. <laughs> I know. I mean, there's been there's been quite a few shows and documentaries about how uh, space travel would be with private mm-hmm. space companies because that's who's going to fund it. It won't yeah, be NASA it, anymore. Yeah, to create that condition where we can live is quite a ways out, right? And. Mm. Apparently, it's going to take one year to get to Mars and then one year to get back to Earth. Hmm. God, one year of space that, travel. Right? Because the way yeah. we, the speed of it is still not there yet, right? I know. I mean, they did uh, uh, experiments with astronauts. Like Scott Kelly stayed six months in the space station to see how, you know, your body would react to it. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. So how how if uh, Elon Musk was going to do that, how can he uh, overcome these challenges? Clearly, you see the rocket is uh, uh, more bigger. Mm-hmm. It looks good, actually, and they, they're trying to make a reusable rocket. And yeah. why not? I mean, I don't, I haven't followed all the stuff going into space, but it's more like the Bezos and all these. Billionaires that gone up into the space. <laughs> yeah, they're they so called space float for what one minute and then oh we've got to go back to Earth. <laughs> that's not space. That's nothing. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the thing, right? How 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 long before we can actually stay and and colonize, you know, and and then be self sufficient up there, right? So that's a long way mm. still, right? Yeah, we got a long way to go, but uh, you know. But it is good to initiate and stuff like that. But I think also we have to, you know, with all the stuff that's happening, not only the NFTs, the energies that it's using, Mm. and of course what we're doing to the planet as well, right? So that's something Mm. of a concern as well. I I kind of like looking at how much energy are being uh, used 
to create mm. this blockchain and all of these, um, you know, system, right? That mm. has these, all of these things functioning. Um, it's quite, it's quite like, it's quite huge, right? The energy that's affecting not only our environment, but also, you know, in what we're doing to the planet now. And the priority that's being put on Mars and, and stuff like that. So, you know, in terms mm. of the overall kind of picture, right? So, well, there is a lot of lot of energy in the blockchain. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, you get into all these crypto discussions, and they get so complicated. Mm-hmm. I just think Bitcoin should just be simple. Yeah, Bitcoin in itself is a fixed unit, right? But the other stuff mm-hmm. that are coming up that's going to be interesting. That's the things that we can move around, and the the mm-hmm. new hybrids of the Bitcoin kind of thing. So it because it, you know, the if the bitcoins are, are fixed, then you can't move too much around. So there has to be some way that you know can be um, other flexibilities built into it. So I think it's all been looked at. I'm not expert at all, and I'm not even a beginner, so I can't even claim to like talk about these things. So forgive me if I do that. So anyone else, you know, with expert and want to talk to Stephen here, definitely do that, please. Mm. You know. I just more like listen to what others are saying. Of course, I haven't really. Um, I I thought about, of course, you know, with all the excitement and stuff like that. I do um, look into doing some of the stuff on my own, right? Because it seems so, um, you know, it seems easy, but it's not. It, there's a lot mm. that goes behind it, right? And you have to have, you know, certain. Uh, like I said, marketing is important in that, and of course, you know. Um, the people who are doing it is, is quite uh, interesting as well. I'm looking at you know more of the behavior and as well as what is it the content of it as well too on the NFT side of things as I'm comparing and seeing which one is success success, success and how can you sustain these kind of things right? So um, well, that's the thing. How how do we keep uh, NFT secure? Because mm-hmm. there's a lot of these Bitcoin and NFT scams going around. For sure. I mean, uh, yeah, I, you know, don't submit it to those kind of like, anytime you do that, you get calls all over the place. Oh, my God. I was so, like, mm-hmm. my phone number, you know, it's like every day, every day I get at least two or three calls from, you know, those people. I'm like, oh, my gosh, what have I done, you know? Sometimes do, when do you, you get submit a- into something. Do you get a call from the Nigerian prince? Yeah. <laughs> Some people around that. I don't know where they're from. It seems like from all over the place. I'm just looking at, of course, looking up the area codes for those kind of calls. I, I'm just curious where it's coming from, you know. It's probably coming from uh, Uganda or Africa, or the Middle East. That's a scam. Yeah, totally. You know, uh, so I just, don't really pick up. I just look at the area code and i just like, oh, where's this one from, you know? Because, mm. you know, if you don't recognize, I, I really don't really pick it up on the spawn calls and stuff. So. Well, it's all about keeping yourself safe. Yeah, online. it is coming to that, isn't it? This is a yeah. big, big thing for now with all the technology, you know, moving so fast as well. So um, cyber security is a huge, you know. Yeah. I mean, scammers are all, always getting more clever. I don't know how, but, you know, and then cybersecurity is constantly having to update their servers to stop all these uh, ransomware attacks and scams going around in Bitcoin. just gets crazy. Definitely. (laughs) But it's it's also our time, right, in terms of, like, what um, being developed and, you know, and... uh, our, our laws can't keep up with the speed. That's the thing, right? Mm. It takes a little while to, for it to become law and stuff like that. By that time, new things have developed, right? Mm. Yeah, so they have to like find a way to, to speed up those kind of things. Because, and of course, everybody needs data to be able to put into like, you know, a guiding, you know, kind of regulations or principle or whatever. Yeah, all the time, uh, things are changing all the time. 
Yeah, definitely. And, and you know, it's like you have to look at both sides of things, right? I know there's a lot of studies being done now with the, uh, the banks and the crypto side of things. So mm-hmm. um, that we'll see in another year. And that's how long it takes. And, and with the laws and stuff, they, of course, every government is trying to see where they can also look at, you know, the gains and the loss of the crypto and how can they tax it and, you know, those mm. kind of things, right? And how can basically trace. <laughs> so, and, you know, enforce. <laughs> Man- yeah. That's when it gets very messy and the government wants to, wants to always tax everything all the time. Yeah. And tax, 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 taxing people constantly to the point where it's like, I just want to make people go broke. Yeah, you know I have that? to get there first, right? Get up first. And yeah. Millions first. <laughs> I mean, here in Australia, like, uh, it seems the more you earn, the more the government wants to take from you. And you work yeah. very hard for your, your paycheck. And it's like, we want to take our cut. That's I think I don't know. what what is Australia? Is it the progressive type of uh, tax thing? Because of course, I, I think, think you're so. kind of similar to us, right? Which is like the next yeah. dollar kind of thing. How we tax on on the back something bracket. like that. Yeah. See, though, I, like I'm not an accountant. I wouldn't know yeah, all this course, stuff. But yeah, at least that's what I've observed mm-hmm. and what I've seen. You know. But, and our side of things is good to like, um, you know, it, it like the tax with the corporations is of course a lower usually. Mm. Do you so, think corporations and mining corporations should pay more tax than the middle class? Well, it depends. I mean, if you the government usually like gives that break because they want to stimulate the economy so they can hire, you know, get people working, right? And also the company. Mm-hmm. If they're successful, then they can bring more in. And so it's a kind of give and take on that side of things too, right? And yeah. a lot of people, are, of course, you know, the way it works in the past is, okay, so if they give a little more tax break to the corporation, maybe they'll um, have, you know, the money to also hire, hire, you know, more people and so put more people into work and, and so on and so on, right? Yeah, well, that's it. The more people working, the better. But I'd really like to say thank you for joining the Stephen yeah. Shields radio show. I think it's late where you are. In, yeah, uh, well, North. it's 9.35. I'm on the Pacific uh, side, so um, PST time or Pacific yeah. Daylight nowadays or whatever uh-huh. the standards nowadays. <laughs> mm. But it's good to, of course, chat with you and uh, uh, keep up the good work and congrats on your 300. So. Thank you. And uh, take care where you are, and who yeah, knows if you come, come to visit. Australia. <laughs> I'd love to visit uh, yeah. Canada in the future. Perhaps December or January, definitely. Yeah. You. All right. But take uh, care, okay, dear? <laughs> you too. Bye. <laughs> okay, that was uh, Sonia. That was fantastic. Uh, and to have Sonia on the, the Stephen Shields radio show in Sydney, Australia. On this uh, beautiful Saturday morning, ah, oh, Saturday afternoon, it is. So yeah, it does go to show that uh, when there is a vision for a company like uh, Tesla. to, you know, see a future in the space race. Man, that's an amazing feeling. Really is an amazing feeling uh, for an entrepreneur to be able to, you know, look at ways and innovations to find success. You know, that And I feel that uh, you know, no matter 
you know, how hard the days get, the time gets, how hard life gets. There, when you do have a purpose and you want to overcome uh, negative energy, you can when you put your mind to it. I feel that uh, yeah, when you live your life in a uh, high vibrational state, things open up for you, especially in your business, in your life as well, and in your lifetime. I guess it's all about uh, finding who you are to be the best that you can be spiritually, emotionally, physically, financially. And live life in abundance. Because it's all about generating that uh, abundance cycle as well. And finding that, hey, what I do and what I stand by is who I want to be. To be successful, you've got to get out there. You've got to overcome the fear of uh, failure, the fear of rejection. You've got to keep knocking on those doors. Just keep knocking on those doors. No matter how much rejection you have, you just keep knocking on those doors. And one day, you will get that yes. When you get that yes... Oh, it's the best feeling in life. And then it's uh, time to celebrate, have a party, celebrate, party, travel, celebrate, <laughs> manifest as well. You know, I guess uh, when I when I finished uh, my uh, bachelor's degree in music, there were times where I struggled and you know, I thought I thought about quitting myself. Uh, you know, sometimes we all go through that, where you know, you know, when the going gets tough, we we feel like quitting. And I'll be honest, I felt like to quit. Apologise for about the uh, background noise. It's just a bit windy. Just got the windows open to keep the air inside the house. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, you know, I thought about quitting and but I, I just proved that, hey, I, I am, you know, I am loyal to the work that I do because, yeah, you just keep showing up. And that's all it is. You just keep showing up every single day as an entrepreneur. You just keep showing up. Because I guess it's very rewarding uh, when you look at uh, successful entrepreneurs like Elon Musk. who basically had a vision for SpaceX, multiple failures. There were multiple rocket launches, and it just yeah, it exploded. When there's potential for someone, when there's that uh, vision, and you know it's going to work, it will get there. It really will get there. As I sit here, you know, and basically just share my thoughts. 
to the audience who just stopping by or just want to listen in or uh, want to be on the Stephen Shields radio show and uh, get to introduce yourself. You know, when there's the time for success in life, It's a time to just keep going. And that's all you can do. Is just keep going. As well. So that's how it is, you know. We live in a uh, uh, capitalistic society where there's, you know, Everything's got to be done by paperwork, I've noticed these days. But no matter how much paperwork's going to get in the way or get involved, and you want something, you will go and get it. You will go and achieve it. You will go and... uh, achieve your goals and your desires, whether that would be in business, you know, in studying, that's what you will achieve. Because you know that you can do it when you know that you have the pot- potential to step out of your uh, comfort zone, you go get it. You just keep going in life. Just remember that, as quoted by Stephen Shields, just keep going and that's all you can do and we and make sure you know learn from our failures we all learn from our mistakes and make sure you know if we make a mistake don't beat yourself up to over it There's been times for myself where I've uh, been too hard on myself. You know, I've uh, struggled in life and we all have our struggles. But just think about it like this. Just keep going. All right? Repeat that to yourself. Just keep going. Because that's what I want. I want you to be successful for yourself. Overcoming negative energy is very important. Overcoming bad influences is important. Bad influences get you nowhere. You're an energy drainer. They are what I call useless eaters. They are useless eaters. Uh, Jealous. You know, they don't care. They don't care about themselves. And you find your way. You find your purpose. You find where you want to be in the next five or ten years' time. 
you find that pathway to success in where you're going. Because where you're going as an entrepreneur, you're going to be the successful one. Although, yes, uh, the economy, you know, is in a hard place, is in a down spot at the moment. The stock market is down. But don't let that stop you from being you and being who you are. It being the best that you can be in life and in general. You know, when I do the Stephen Shields radio show, I uh, enjoy, you know, talking about how topics of what's going on. I talk, I say things how I say it. I'm straight up forward with you. I don't talk bullshit. I don't talk crap. I'm just going to be purely honest, you know. I mean, I guess there there are days that, uh, you know, I get tired. But uh, you know what? Tomorrow is a new day. Tomorrow will be a better day after a bad day. And that's that's what it is. Look at ways to uh, drive your success. Feel like you are successful in the present moment. Feel that you are already successful right here, right now, in life. Because there's two options. There's one can complain, bitch and moan about it, or two, get out, start creating, and prove the haters wrong in general. Prove the haters wrong. Okay? Because you are you, I am me, And I will keep going and and going and going. I want to say thank you for everyone who stopped by or listened in on the Stephen Shields radio show right now. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to the podcast and turn on your notifications wherever you get a new episode every Friday at 6 p.m. Sydney, Australia time. Really wonderful to uh, have a show right now. Take care, everyone, and bye for now.